Hello people, I'm Phil and welcome back to my Make Your Own Virtual Machine series. Uh, if you remember last time we were working on our SASM uh, assembler and particularly the Lexer. I made a few typos last time but I corrected them uh, or I took the liberty of correcting them already and you'll be able to find that code in the information bar below on my GitHub account. So let's get right to it and right finish up this lexer. Let's go down to the bottom and add a comment. Uh, we're going to create our is space function. So this function allows us to define what a space is. And this is important. We could use the built in uh, space, uh, is space function. But this allows us to have a little bit more control. It will take a char. And essentially all this is is a switch statement on a character. And we're going to have several cases. Um, and Actually, what we're going to do is allow all these cases to fall through. And then we'll return true, true. and then have a default case where we return false. And that's it for this isSpace function. Now we'll have another function. If you remember in our header file, it was called isGroup. And so we're gonna put isGroup here. It also takes a single char or a single character and we're gonna set our beginning character to the character we are given and we're also gonna do a switch on that character and set our end character um, out oh actually we need to have a case statement so case if it's a double quote then we need to set see yeah it looks looks good so if it's double quote we need to set an end character to be the double quote and return true then if we have an opening uh, paren we'll make an end char be the closing paren and we'll return true and then we'll have a case of a closing paren we'll just return true and a default case where we return false and that's it for that function then we'll have one more boolean function where we check if something is a special character. And this will just be a switch statement as well on that character. And if it is an opening bracket or to closing bracket, we will return true. And otherwise, we'll return false. And that's it. That's it for our Lexer. So uh, next time, we'll actually begin working on our assembler. And we'll use our Lexer for our assembler. Thanks for watching, people. Till next time.